I wasn't planning on making this video. Honestly, I'm still in shock. If I seem incoherent, incoherent. it's because I've either not slept or I'm full of adrenaline. I've literally been awake for 24 hours. Prepare yourself for a true British horror story. Firstly, let's set the scene. Dan is away for a few days and I'm in the house on my own, which I'm usually fine with, but I'm 20% extra vigilant. Is there someone behind the curtain? No, I feel like you're tired. It's fine. Did I lock the door to the garden? Is that creek upstairs a friendly serial killer or the mean kind? So ignoring my normal, I say normal, my, my background anxiety, everything was fine until... I was watching an episode of Demon Slayer, having a lovely time. Mid scary demon scene, halfway through the episode, there was a power cut. D I don't like that. So I just sat in complete darkness, tried to use my phone torch, and in the process, took this lovely picture of my face. <laughs> this really represents my feelings at the moment. I went outside, saw a confused neighbor, realized I was wearing my Minecraft pajamas, which was a fashion moment. We deduced deduced, I am Sherlock now, that the whole street had a power cut. It wasn't the serial killer pressing my flippy switch. He'd pressed it for the whole street. The power was still off. I was getting tempted to eat this maple syrup flavored candle. The power came back on. Rejoice. This is already enough for this nervous squirrel to handle for one evening until the video doorbell detects motion. What, who, why? It is 11 PM. Why on earth is someone at my door motioning up my motion. <laughs> that should be illegal in my law. I've got instant fear. I checked the app expecting to see ghost face. So I slowly open the door like this. No one. No one's on the street. No one is there. What in the paranormal activity is this? It's never done that before. And the doorbell's like, hey, let's wait for Phil to be home alone and F with him a little bit and say there's someone at the door when there isn't. My nerves are pretty bojangled by now. So I reset the bloody doorbell. And then I decide to calm myself down and watch some Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Because what is more relaxing than <laughs> women screaming at each other? I decided to turn the evening around and open some packages I had because that will always give me a mood boost. First thing I got was a t-shirt that says sword. Also, best news, my delivery for Scentbird came, who are also the sponsor of this video, which I didn't think would be integrated so chaotically. Thanks, Scentbird. You know, I've always liked being a smelly guy, as in a guy that likes to smell nice. And I feel like having a good whiff is a great way to make a first impression with the three people I meet per year. Scentbird sends out these handy travel-sized bottles that even come in a little cute bag. Fancy. You know I love a quiz and you kick things off by doing one on the website to find out the best scents for you. Sophisticated or sporty? I'm the least sophisticated person ever. I'm gonna go with sporty because I'm easygoing and clean. Ooh, sensual <laughs> or clean. I think I like to smell fresh over sexy. Ooh, how do I want to feel? I mean, I'm quite introverted, so I'm gonna go with outgoing and adventurous. Just so I can put out that vibe, even if I don't have it. Then you get to pick from all of these fragrances. So this month I chose Ghost in the Shell, which is an incredible manga and anime, and this scent is inspired by that, which is right up my alley. Let's give it a toot. Ooh, that is nice. It smells like a metal orange a robot would eat. <laughs> in a good way. I also picked up another Japanese one by Heretic, which is inspired by the ancient practice of forest bathing. Ooh, that is sexy, but like a wood, like a sexy tree. <laughs> the last one I chose was Juliet Has a Gun. Apparently it smells different depending on the molecules of your skin. Get on my skin. It's kind of like I rub myself against a fancy hotel mixed with fresh laundry. You get a really generous amount in each one as well, so you can spray it up as much as you like. So if you want to smell as good as me, if only we had smell vision you can use my code AMAZINGPHIL for an incredible 55% off your first month of Scentbird. Click the linky below. With that discount, it's only a little over $7 for your first month, and it is available in the USA and Canada. Thank you, Scentbird. We'll mix them together. That's the winner. Ah! I'm now very cozy in bed, watching some TikToks of a guy smashing up some jars with a fire extinguisher, <laughs> as you do. I'm forgetting everything else. Everything is okay. I'm calm. I'm going to sleep. I wake up to the loudest noise I have ever heard. Really weird music is blasting an incredibly loud volume in my house at 2 a.m. It has really heavy bass, it is shaking the walls. It feels like there is a nightclub inside my pillow. Three quarters of sleep, I just jump out of bed, and for some reason I'm then on the floor on all fours, like a confused newborn cow, not sure how to stand up. Do you know in horror films when the killer plays loud music in the house, or like the mum in Gremlins going down the stairs? I was feeling genuinely scared. So I guess it's time to meet my maker. <laughs> so I go in the office, and there I see the Apple HomePod is just playing on its own, at 100% volume. What? Why? How? What? So I walk in the room with my hands over my elbows. My hands over my elbows. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. And turn it off 
using my elbow. And I'm just like, what the F? How does a HomePod just switch itself on playing music I've never heard before at 2 a.m.? I cannot comprehend what is happening. Then I remember the doorbell that detected something wasn't there and my mind reaches one conclusion. There is a ghost. I get back into bed, but I'm not sleeping now. I'm just sat there with my eyes frozen open, waiting for Casper to tickle my ear. Well, I was tempted to get out my ghost hunting equipment. I was just too tired. So I actually said out loud, look, if <laughs> I, did, I was like, if there is a ghost, I'm too tired to deal with this right now. Can we hang out in the daytime hours? Otherwise I'm gonna turn into a zombie and join you in the afterlife. Are there any ghosts around here? No, oh, green. All right, we're fine. I calm my mind down, try to drift off back to sleep. And this is when it happened. I hear a noise in the room with me. It's kind of like scraping like fingernails on a wall. I'm fully leaving my body at this point. I'm pooping out of my eyes. I am seeing God. I am actually terrified. I'm sat up in bed like, is it time to die? And then I see it. A huge gray shadow moves down the curtain in the corner of the room. And then I'm going through a lot of emotions. Is this the ghost? But ghosts aren't real. But I'm literally looking at a ghost. Thankfully, bugs that size don't exist in England. So what is it? What is it? At this point, I'm so tired. If it is a ghost, I'm ready to march into the corner of the room and kick Casper's ass until I pull back the curtains. And then I see it. The ghost that has been terrorizing me. Although it's not a ghost. It is a mouse that is sat in the corner of the room and making direct eye contact with me. Just like this. It's a flipping mouse. When the mouse suddenly decides I'm a threat. So it runs up the curtain like spider mouse. And when it gets to torso height, it decides the safest next option is to jump directly onto my chest. <laughs> it climbs up my t-shirt onto my shoulder and then does a bloody parkour flip back onto the curtain and runs up onto the top of the curtain rail. At this point, you might think I'm screaming and crying, but no, I'm just stood there like a tree as a mouse is doing a Mario level on my body. And I just think, why? What? Why is this happening? Why is it 4 a.m.? Why me? Why, why are you in my house? Ooh, something's gonna chase me. Why don't I just jump on it? Oh no, danger, jump back onto the curtain. Did you not go to mouse safety school? I can't think of how to catch a mouse, so I decide a Pim's jug <laughs> is the best option. This is 4 a.m. logic, I don't know. I come down, down from the kitchen and then Monty is just sat on top of the curtain completely still, as if I can't see him if he just doesn't move. I lift up the jug to scoop him into it and then he jumps back onto me. Are you kidding, Monty? <laughs> I am the predator. I am the eagle. Why why are you jumping onto my body? And he bounces off and then darts across the floor. And I don't know where he went. At this point, I've decided I can't sleep. I don't want him to have 800 babies in our almost finished house. You know when you've had a terrible night's sleep and then suddenly at 8 a.m. your body's just like, ooh, so cozy. I could hibernate here forever. When a last laugh from a cruel universe. Ding dong. Builders arrive at the house. <sighs> a guy had come to literally saw a giant hole in the wall. So if I wanted to sleep, <coughs> so I could drill noise. <coughs> oh, ooh, that was a good one. It was the worst thing that could happen. I go to the shop and buy a humane trap. It's called a mouse hotel. I Googled they like peanut butter. So <laughs> I splashed out for the most expensive peanut butter in Tesco because I had to get the mouse. I had to get something he wanted to nibble on. The trap is set. The builders finally take their annoying drill and leave. The door has been closed and it's been 12 hours. I left him in a mouse hotel with the finest of peanut juice. So when I open that door, there better be a mouse in, in that goddamn hotel. I push the door open, look down at the trap and see the mouse sat literally next to the trap, having a little wash, just partaking in some evening grooming, feeling no need to nibble on my nuts. He looks up and bolts at 500 miles per hour to the back of the room and I have not seen him since. And here I am, <laughs> just filming this video. He better be craving that butter tonight or I might have to demolish the entire house. The hamster mother in me kind of wants to keep him because he is very cute, but not if he wants to Tom Holland all over my curtains and make babies. Though if actual Tom Holland wants to jump around my curtains and make babies, hit me up. What? I guess Dan and Phil finally have a pet now. I've decided I'm not going in that room for 24 hours as that is his now. Enjoy it, Monty. I'm just shocked I was able to make this video at all without blood pouring out of my eyes. Editing Phil here. How does the mouse explain the home pod? Did it just run across it? Did it put its nose up against the doorbell and give it a little ring? <laughs> Did it bite through the power cables? All of this is looking a bit unlikely. So I've come to the conclusion we have a mouse and a ghost. Thanks for letting me unload my trauma onto you. At least I still smell nice. Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Remember to use my code AMAZINGPHIL for 55% off your first month, available in the USA and Canada. Subscribe to fill up your life 
with more fill. Like this video to encourage Monty to eat some peanut butter. Watch my last video. <laughs> I don't even remember what it was. I'm so tired. And also subscribe if you want more of this ridiculous life. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you very soon. I'm gonna go to sleep. Goodbye.